Hey guys, uh, first of all, I want to thank everybody for the birthday wishes, uh, for the prayers while I'm here. Uh, it is around 7 o'clock on Tuesday morning, September 8th, uh, <clears throat> and i uh, been in the hospital. I, this is my third day in the hospital. Came here on my birthday, Saturday, September 5th, um, because I was having what I thought was pretty bad heartburn. Um, so long story short, uh, I thought it was heartburn. I thought I was having heartburn whenever I overate or ate too much fatty food for like a few years. I was having these little episodes. Um, but when I went to the ER, they took some blood tests, did an ultrasound, did an x-ray, and they found out that uh, I had gallstones. So that's pretty much what I'm here for. Um, I, I know it's a very common problem. And uh, my mom told me I'm pretty young to be having that problem. Um, but uh, I've been reflecting a lot about, you know, life decisions. And um, I know that this is a result of me eating too much uh, Vienna sausage, spam, hamburgers. You know, it's easy for uh, me to, you know, be a kid and eat all that and think, you know, it just tastes good. And even though people tell you it's junk food, people tell you it's bad for you. It's easy to keep eating it uh, when you grow up thinking thinking you're invincible, thinking you're young, or thinking that, you know, you won't face the con consequences until you're like 50 years old. Well, I'm only 31, and I've been thinking about that age, you know, in my early 30s, um, which is pretty young. Um, it's not exactly old, but it's not exactly that young either. You know, it's not, I'm not in my youth anymore, and I could say that confidently. Um, and uh, it's been an interesting experience being here since my birthday uh, because I thought that I was going to celebrate with my wife and my family, um, both sides of the family, my wife's family and then my family, uh, my immediate family. They were getting ready to make a, start a barbecue for me. And um, even the night before my birthday, I had some steak that my in-laws cooked. And, you know, all these decisions um, that I was going to continue making have stacked up over time and now I'm here I am and uh, you know I'm smiling because it's you know it's it's a uh, I mean it's not exactly funny but um, it it's a direct result of my decisions and I'm 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 humble enough to acknowledge that uh, you know I made a lot of mistakes with my diet in the past and I've been here for three days um, pretty much been only been able to eat, eat soft food and liquids um, I, so I think today I'm going to be getting my gallbladder removed. Um, so yesterday they did what's called an ERCP where they, uh, put me to sleep and they went down my throat and to look at my gallbladder and my digestive system in general. And they took out, uh, one gallstone and, uh, a bunch of sludge. Um, the nurses were really good at explaining to me the anatomy behind all this, um, told me my liver enzymes are really high and stuff like that um but anyway uh um yeah so today they said in the in my gallbladder there are a bunch of stones and they said it is probably best to just get rid of it entirely and they said you know in in the long run it doesn't really affect you that much there are plenty of people living without their uh their gallbladders i i know plenty of people who have had this done before and really it just comes down to a change in your digestion long term you just have to watch what you eat a little bit more carefully um, in the sense that like you will have the runs if you eat too much fatty food basically because your body won't be able to store it and break it down as efficiently um, but I've learned you know everyone's explaining to me that the body still produces bile to break down fat in other places than the gallbladder and I, I should be fine um, and if this is not a wake-up call to stop eating Vienna sausage and hamburgers in and out, even though I love them so much, um, then nothing else will be. <laughs> so uh, if any of you live with me or know me, just stop me from eating that stuff. Uh, tell me to cool it on the burgers, on the french fries, stuff like that. Um, you know, I'm pretty, pretty healthy otherwise. Even the nurses were telling me, you know, this is kind of an anomaly. You're very young and healthy otherwise. Um, and once you get rid of this, you'll be fine. And uh, just got to take care of myself. Got to exercise. Keep drinking that water. Um, I've had a lot of, like, existential moments here in the hospital. And they kind of made me chuckle to myself a lot. 
um, thinking that I feel like an old man, you know, like I'm here, I'm, I'm, I'm in an IV right now. I've been in an IV for three days. It's just, it's, you know, it's not right. But at the same time, like, it doesn't feel right, you know, because I'm young, but at the same time, like I said, I have to be humble about it because it's a direct result of my decisions. Um, so yeah, that said, um, I want to apologize to everyone who's waiting on work because I know I, you know, I do want to get back to work as soon as possible. Um, I, you know, I have some deadlines to reach, um, but hopefully everyone can understand that I, you know, I'm here. Um, I'm sure, I'm sure you guys understand. But uh, if anyone, um, yeah, I'll, I'll just get back to everyone and get back to work as soon as I can. Um, I do want to take a little bit of a rest when I go home, and I know that some people still want to celebrate my birthday with me, so uh, I'll do that as soon as I get home and give myself some rest and then get back to work. Um, I want to thank everybody on Facebook, all my family and friends who still remember me on my birthday, um, everyone on Discord for my stream, everyone on Twitter, all my friends from Smash Bros. Uh, all you guys, I love you all. Love everybody. Um, Again, I'll be fine. It's just I just wanted to update you guys. I've been in the hospital hospital for three days, and it's been a really strange experience, of a new experience, but ultimately a learning experience, and that's what's most important. So uh, I don't know when I'm gonna give you an update next. Maybe when I get home. Uh, hopefully, going home today. They said there's a chance I won't be going home today, depending on uh, the lab tests, depending on how I feel after the surgery. Um, not still not 100% sure if the surgery is happening today, but best case scenario, the surgery happens today. Um, as long as my blood tests are good, uh, that my liver levels are, are low enough for them to operate on me. Um, worst case scenario, they keep me here for another couple days. Um, I'm kind of scared of like the bill that might be coming, uh, but people told me not to worry too much about that. Just worry about getting better first. But you know. <laughs> At the end of the day, that is going to be a source of stress. Um, I don't know how much my insurance is going to cover, and you know how notorious uh, American healthcare is for uh, being a little bit pricey. So, you guys know my job isn't the greatest as far as uh, cash flows, but um, what's important is that I get back home, that I'm able to get back to work, and uh, that I'm able to uh, be healthy and continue working hard for myself, for my wife, my family, and for everybody. So thank you all again for the birthday wishes, for the prayers. God bless you all. I love you all. I'll see you all soon.